Hello everybody. It's Crafting Just Because with Chris Cowan. I hope everybody's having a fabulous Thursday. I sure did. Okay. So I'm going to put a disclaimer out there. I am using some retired product. I'm making some favors for my husband's work for his birthday next week. And I'm still going through some of my um, tools designer series paper. And so I use that. I'm also using some retired um, Daffodil Delight ribbon. And I'm using this punch, which is also retired. But remember, you can always use whatever product is in the catalog now to make this. This is just an idea and me using up some product I have in my house. Um, and I also paired it with the Friends for Life stamp set and I use this Happy Birthday and I already pre-stamped it and embossed it and I used, again, some embossing powder that is not stamping up. So like I said, I'm just using some stuff in my office. I did pair it with Friends for Life. You can use... I'm using basic black cardstock. Um, you can use whatever designer series paper you want. Okay? So just keep that in mind. I don't want anybody to be mad at me for using some retired product. Just having fun here. Okay. So first what we're going to do is we are going to come in with our paper cutter. And you need a piece of cardstock. That is six and a half inches, okay, by five and a half inches, perfect. And on that six and a half inch side, we want to score it at two inches at three inches at five inches. And it's six inches. I think I forgot to tell you guys what we were making because I was putting my little disclaimer out there. We're making a box that was inspired by the paper pixie that will hold a Rice Krispie treat. My husband's favorite, one of his favorite snacks is Rice Krispie treats. So I thought this was a cute way to do that. It's using tools. He works with tools at work. Um... It's getting rid of some product in my office, all that fun stuff. Okay, so then you're going to rotate your paper to the five and a half inch side, and we want to score it at one inch, at four inches, and at four and a half inches. Okay, then I already pre-cut a couple items. So I did the oval punch, like I said, and stamped on that. I also cut two pieces of designer series paper, and these are cut at one and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. Now, if you have a directional pattern of your designer series paper, you're going to want to make sure that you're in portrait mode for those pieces because they're gonna lay just like I have showing here, okay? So we're gonna get rid of our paper trimmer. I'm gonna come in with my bone folder, okay? And we are going to fold and burnish all the score lines. Now my Rice Krispie Treats have not yet arrived, so I'm having to just do the box, but they will fit perfectly in this, um, in this box. Okay, so this is what you have. The top part is the one that has the skinny um, section here in, in the, um, at the top. But this is how we're going to cut it. 
So we're going to start with our right hand side, which has this half inch um, tab. We're going to make it a tab, okay? So I'm going to cut off the bottom and the top, okay? Then along the bottom, I'm going to cut up each of the score lines to that intersecting score line, and we're going to wedge on the squares. So I'm going to just cut up to the intersecting score line and then wedge the squares. Same thing, cut up to the intersecting score line, wedge those squares. Okay, so, so far this is what you have. Okay, next what you're going to do is we're only going to focus on these two smaller sections. I'm going to cut the second score line, okay, and then I'm going to cut about a half inch off and I'm going to wedge it. And we're going to do the same thing in this other smaller section. So skip one, go to the next section, cut to that second score line, cut about a half inch off. Okay, that's what we have so far. Okay, now um, if you have the basic border dies or um, the tag set, you can use that for this next part. Like I said, I'm using some retired product just because I have it. I'm making these for my husband's work. Don't shoot me. And I'm going to take the big section, okay? And I'm going to push it down into my punch. And I'm just going to center that down into the punch. And I'm going to punch so it made it a tag edge. Now we're going to do the same thing to this other piece. I'm going to push it down into my punch. Make sure it's centered and punch it out. Okay? Super simple, super easy. Like I said, if you have the basic border dies or the um, tag dies, it'll do the same thing. You just run it through your die cut machine. Okay, now we're going to add our designer series paper. So I'm going to go ahead and glue my designer series paper onto my two bigger sections. Centering that down into the middle. Just like so. Okay. Then I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to put glue on my half inch tab right here. And I'm going to fold this over right on down onto itself. And I'm just going to run my bone folder over that. Okay, so this is the back because this is where that side will be up. So I'm going to just flip it up. I'm going to push the front piece down. Okay, I'm going to push the front or the back piece in. And I'm just going to add glue to my tabs here. And I'm going to push those in. Just like that. Then I'm going to fold down my front. Just like that. And I'm going to set it on its um, bottom. 
and I'm going to run my bone folder down into there. Okay, now at this point, this is when you would add your Rice Krispie Treat, but because they're supposed to be here today, I don't have it. So I'm going to go ahead, lay it down. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple dimensionals to my um, piece that we embossed Happy Birthday from the full Friends for Life stamp set. Now you could do any of these. You don't have to do Happy Birthday. Like I said, I'm just doing this for my husband's work. And um, disclaimer, again, I'm using a couple products that are discontinued just because I'm making them for my husband's work, okay? I'm going to go ahead and take the release paper off those dimensionals. I'm going to center that right on down like that. And then I'm going to glue my tools on there. And I'm only putting glue like in the middle of the tools. Just like that. And then I think I'm going to add this one here. So I'm only going to add glue right here in the middle. Okay. Then at this point, what you're going to want to do is, like I said, you have your Rice Krispie Treat in there. Then you're going to take your ribbon. Again, I'm using discontinued ribbon, but you can use any ribbon you have. This just went with the colors that I had. And then you're just going to tie it up. I don't want to do it too tight since I don't have my Rice Krispie Treats in here yet. Okay. And then you would just cut off your extra ribbon. And voila, there's your little Rice Krispie treat box. Super easy, super fun. You can make two of these out of one eight and a half by 11 pieces of cardstock. And um, like I said, I was just messing around with some retired product and came up with this idea since he loves Rice Krispies and wanted to use up um, some of my designer series paper and ribbon. So until next time, my creative peeps, I will see you later. I hope you have a good rest of your night. Bye-bye.